Today's quick tip to make a big difference in your workouts is the importance of scapular rotation. Essentially, if you have scapular rotation or you're mindful of it in your upper body workouts, you're gonna have workouts that are far more effective, much stronger, you're gonna get it much more directly right into the meat of the muscle to stimulate the changes you want, and you're gonna take this any sort of stress and just suck it right out of your joints. In fact, a lot of times when people are like, oh, my wrists, my elbows, my shoulders, something hurts when I'm doing this, bet money, lack of scapular rotation is to blame. You don't hear too much about scapular rotation because it's the lesser known cousin to the bigger movements that we're aware of with the scapula. We have scapular depression and elevation where the shoulder blades are going up and down. We also have scapular protraction and retraction where they're kind of going in and out, slightly forward and back because we're not, our torso is not like the torso of a Lego figure. We're not square, we are round. So things like that, ro that scapular protraction and retraction, it's a combination of in and out and forward and back. Rotation is yet another movement pattern where we've got a combination of a bit of depression or elevation and retraction and protraction, but also there's a subtle twist in the shoulder blade. But being mindful of that can literally make the difference between a meh workout and a freaking awesome workout. That's kind of hard for me to exactly show what it looks like because if I showed you push-ups with scapular rotation and push-ups without it, it really doesn't look that different. It's not something you're going to really see a whole heck of a lot, but you're going to really feel it. So visualize it in your mind. When you do your push-ups, when you push apart, think of slightly upward and outward scapular rotation. And then as you come down, feel like you're folding your wings down and back. So it's not just depression, you're not just bringing your shoulder blades together, but allow them to come together. Another exercise this comes very in handy for is any sort of bridge work. If you feel like your bridges of any sort, like reverse planks, is all in the lower back, I almost guarantee you, you do not have enough scapular rotation to create enough stability in your upper body for the stress to go down your spine. Instead, it's going straight into your lower back. So really rotate. Think of like, it's almost like you're trying to stretch your upper traps and tense your lower traps at the same time. That's kind of how I think about it. With pull-ups, it's also a big one because it takes the stress out of the elbows, if you've ever felt that. And it also gets much more tension right into your lats as well. So just play with it. Visualize those shoulder blades rotating, not just elevating and depressing or retracting and protracting, but rotating as you're doing your exercises. And I predict it's gonna be a complete game changer for you. Thank you very much for your attention. Remember, if you want to learn more about how to improve the stability and effectiveness of your calisthenics training, check out my book, Grind Style Calisthenics. There's a link down below as well as to the rest of the RDP library. Check out my micro workouts playlist here for quick, efficient workouts that take very little time, short workouts, but big results. Thanks very much. Be fit, live free.